Hey guys, Steve Bevins here with another one of my 52 things I think I know. And I'm banging out three of them today uh, if you're watching live. Uh, this one is, is a kind of continuation of the last two, which dealt with, you know, the nature of reality when it comes to things and thinking and, and dif differentiating between things. And then what is history? Is it historical fiction? Kind of, right? This one is continuation of the nature reality, and we're going to talk about time. It's really mystical stuff. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm geeking there. Uh, <coughs> I'm always rushing around. I mean, I'm pr pretty much my entire life, I mean, what I call tick tocking, like a clock, like, like a clock in the background over here, which you can probably hear when I'm not talking. It's ticking and talking. Uh, and that's the way my brain normally works. It's always worried about, I don't have enough time. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to rush over here and do that. I mean, maybe you're the same way. I don't know. But a lot of us are, I think. Uh, and we're always running around because we never have enough time. <laughs> but we invented time. We invented the clock to measure the time more accurately and down to a more minute detail down to microseconds thousands of a second but it's all kind of an illusion now that doesn't mean it wasn't the sun doesn't come up and go down and the earth doesn't turn around and the stars and, and all that stuff don't move that's what time is for it's a tool kind of like inches on a ruler to measure the motion of th objects in comparison to each other. Now we talked about the fact that in reality, there are no separate objects. They're all aspects of the entire universe. Now that's not very useful though, right? If you and I want to meet at the, at the, at the brewery down the street, Wabasha Brewery, and have a beer tomorrow at five o'clock. Right. We have to have a time and a place and, a, and things like here and there. Or we don't, you know, physically come together to drink that beer. And that would be a damn shame because uh, I love doing that. And we could talk about this kind of stuff while we're there. In fact, I do a lot. <laughs> so, uh, so times it's a useful tool. The problem with it, just like things... It's kind of a tool, it's a measurement of separation, an imagined separation between two things, or history, past, present, future, you know, or the American Revolution, right? We, they're useful tools so we can talk about it, talk about things, or talk about events. But in reality, they don't exist. We made the tool up, and then we think that the tool is a real thing. We think inches are real in, a, in the same sense as, you know, my fist. Right? But they're not, right? You can't show me an inch. Now, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, <laughs> I, I posed that question a couple years ago, and he was like, yeah, it is right here. And I was like, no, you know better than that. That's not an inch. That's two fingers approximately an inch apart. <laughs> right? Uh, it's not an inch. There, there are, an inch is an idea that we made up. Same thing as a minute or a second or an hour or a day. These are all things we made up. Now, a day represents, you know, the time it takes for the, you know, the earth to spin around one time on its axis. Roughly, pretty close, but in that spin around on its axis, it's real. But a day isn't. A day is something we made up to describe that event or that process. And but we confused it, and we get confused, and we get locked up into these minutes and hours and days and time, and and as if they were like a hammer beating us to death. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes, right? I mean, it's like we get up and we're like, oh my God, I'm running out of time. It's like time's behind us, whipping us. Get your ass moving. It's not there. Time ain't behind you. 
or in front of you, it's in here. It's only in there. It doesn't exist anywhere else, except for in other people's minds. Uh, like I said, it's a useful tool as long as we remember that's all it is. A way to measure that stuff. <laughs> so try to remember every once in a while that that ticking clock on the wall it's just gears moving around. <laughs> it's not time. All right, speaking of time, it's time to go. Later.